All right, we're, we're back, and I think the hiccups are gone. Um, <laughs> sorry, I don't edit anything when I do these videos for the most part. So um, let's keep going here. We're going, go, we're doing, I cut the sides off underneath the coat, okay? And we're going to go back here, and we're going to chop some of this out. Yeah. All right. And then right behind it as well, we need to cut some of this out for the pants. And we got to bring this up, take that out. keep going here because this is not going to be enough here. This does take some strength in your hands to do that um, if you're wondering. But remember when you cut, when you do this type of carving, you take your time with it. You don't go crazy with taking big hunks of wood out all at once. Um, you know, the idea of carving is taking little chips out like what I'm doing now. If it doesn't free up, you go back and you recut it. Alright, that's all that's to that. It's getting used to the fact that you need to cut it and come back to it, okay? bring this down quite a bit yet because the cone is so wide at the bottom it's pretty well the block itself and this is where you're going to have to cut a little bit more off all right now this is where his shoes are remember so remember we're going to go underneath here we'll worry about his arms and that rolling pin in a little bit here all right, just like so. All right, and we're going to bring this down. And we're going to actually we're going to cut that point off. And we're going to bring this down. Now, if you remember, we're going to put a center line up here. Remember, from the corner. All right. Same thing in the back. We're going to put a center line in. We're going to start. And we're going to have his shoes coming out from underneath. But we've got a little ways here to go yet. So we can bring this down just a tad more. We'll put that line back one. And now we're going to do the top of his shoes. It's a little tough because you don't have a lot of room there because of this coat hanging so long. Because they have these long coats a lot of times. But remember, this is a caricature. It's not going to look precisely right for the amount of space for his legs and stuff. He's a short little chubby... <laughs> um, chef. I'm just having a great time doing these um, cone projects folks. I really am. It's been a lot of fun. Okay. Bring this down a little bit more. And kind of, you know, if you really want to do this right, which I should have done ahead of time, from corner to corner you want to put a line going across and then from corner to corner do it across again and that will give you a real good indication if you're way off you know if you're way off um, like this side is really cut up pretty much which I can tell this side is not so this has to come off a little bit more reference points are wonderful they really are you know if they went to a smaller smaller blade because I need to get up underneath here. 
this is where the detail blades come in real handy all right okay. now what we're going to do is we're going to go down the center here and we're going to part the feet and the legs here in a second There isn't a whole lot to their costume, I mean to their costume, to their uniform uh, that they wear. Um, you know, I research some things on Google when I have an idea of what I want to do, like the clown and the scarecrow. And I did the same thing with the little, um, with this little guy here. Um, be a nice gift for somebody that's a chef or and somebody that's interested in cooking put some oversized shoes on him so what we're going to do with the shoe we're going to just bring this down just straight down like so both sides okay let's see if that matches on the bottom yeah almost let's bring this up a little bit and so what we're going to do is respray it We're going to just follow this down with a stop cut. Start taking that out. Okay, we're going to go all the way down. Well, actually, uh, we're going to go part of the way down and then we're going to bring it up that it looks like it's tucked underneath. Okay, um, I should have done that the other way. Let's do that the other way. Sorry about that. We need to go underneath, not. like this underneath the pants just like so okay and same thing over here we need to go underneath Round up his shoes a little bit and the bottom part of his shoes there. Get the bare blade. Okay, see how his shoes are coming out? And again, we're going to tuck it underneath there, underneath his pants there. Same thing over here, we're going to Oh, there's more to do yet, folks. We're not near done yet. All right. Now we're going to go underneath this arm for a bit here. Get that started. There we go. Alright, we'll be back. 